Tom. Welcome to a brand new week. If you're just going from last week's vlog to this week's vlog, you'll notice that this looks very familiar. I literally filmed the end of last week like two seconds ago, so there you go. Anyway, I woke up this morning, well, I woke up at noon uh, and did some errands. Uh, my car has been having low tire pressure lately, so I, I don't, and I don't think I have a pump for it. So I bought a car pump for it to try and uh, air up the tires. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to get around to that as, uh, as soon as I can. I also bought uh, new filters for the Brita, eggs, and uh, light bulbs for, uh, for downstairs uh, because the... Because those, those, the light bulbs in the living room have been out for like a while now and I wanted to get those, get that done. Anyway, I came back here and then uh, I played a bit of Mario Kart with, uh, with Matt Bragg. We ended up playing on, uh, on worldwide mode against like a ton of other people online. There was one guy who had like 31,000 uh, total score in Mario Kart, so he was like always in first. Like, now I know how, uh, how like the rest of the Derp crew feel when they play Mario Kart with me. But Matt and I are pretty evenly matched. Uh, so that was, uh, that was a lot of fun to do. We just finished that up, uh, recently. So that was, uh, that was quite a bit of fun. But now, uh, I believe I'm going to, uh, well, I was going to order food, but I guess I'm going out with, uh, with Z Gallman Ritz, uh, to get something to eat. And then after that, I'm going to come home, record some more hat in time. And, uh, yeah, let's see how the rest of the day goes then. It is, it is, it is Monday and, uh. Oh man, not a lot really happened uh, on, uh, let me start that again, because it is Tuesday. Not a lot really happened yesterday on Monday, so uh, I didn't really do much. I mostly edited videos and streamed, and that was pretty much the entirety of the day. Uh, but today I did a little bit more. I was uh, outside, I, I guess working on the car, but I wasn't really like, you know, in the engine or whatever. I was just like, uh, I've noticed that the, uh, the tire uh, pressure has been low, so I just like measured that because I found a, a tool kit in um, the back of my old car and moved that over to the new car, so I, I used the, that to measure the tire pressure, and yeah, tire pressure is pretty low, so I have to reinflate the tires uh, at earliest convenience. I bought a pump. I think I bought that on Sunday. Yeah, I did buy that on Sunday, uh, so I'm going to reinflate those as soon as I, as soon as I can. Uh, just got to make sure that the pump can actually reach uh, the outlet. Or I get an extension cord, one or the other. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully that'll be back up and running. I do also need to get uh, the... Uh, find a junking place to get rid of my old car. Because I've got the title and the license plates are off. I still need license plates for my new car too. They should have sent those to me a while ago, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to see on that one. Anyway, uh, not really much else going on today. Just taking it easy and uh, I'm going to stream some... Uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, and then record more Hat in Time. I think where I'm going to go with Hat in Time, because I beat all of the Arctic Cruise chapter, and all that's really left is, like, the, uh, the, uh, I think it's called Death Wish Mode, I think? It's, I, it, I, I can't remember if Death Wish Mode was the part with, like, the contracts, where it's, like, they add different objectives to each mission, or whatnot, uh, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on the main objectives for them and if I want to do like this the side objectives I'll probably end up like streaming those or something because I feel like I feel like it'd be a little bit frustrating to be like well I beat this and I got one objective but I didn't get the other one so I'm gonna go back and do that when like in terms of, like a video you have the freedom to edit it oh, my hair is billy because we're in front of the air conditioning um you have uh you have the opportunity to edit things down so I, it's not like a, a sort of a factor where I could be like you know, I beat it and I'll go back and do that. I, I guess I could do that, but I don't know. I, I guess it'd just be like a little bit less frustrating in that regard. Just because it's that sort of thing I feel about uh, about making gaming videos where it's like progress needs to be made at some point in order for there to be some entertainment value. Unless like, I don't know. Because like, I feel like with, with games that do have that sort of like natural progression to them, where it's like you go from one place to another and you grow and you go into a level. Not a lot of games don't really have, don't really have like any sort of like not progression there, otherwise they wouldn't really be games. But um, you always kind of, I always feel like that there's that kind of thing where it's like you, where pe most people are going to want to watch to see like levels get done, to see, um, 
you know, people doing good at the game, more or less. Unless, like, like, unless, uh, like I said, unless they're advertised specifically that they're going to be bad at the game, they're not going to be able to do much more with the game and whatnot. Uh, or if it's just, like, a bad game, so you go into it, like, recognizing that unless the person's good at the bad game, then they're not going to be getting that far in it. But, like I said, I want to make progress in it, and I feel like getting stuck on certain contracts... Uh, that focus uh, and focusing on the secondary objectives won't be won't make very good content. But anyway, I'm going to uh, get prepared to stream and stream. It is Wednesday, <clears throat> and uh, I've woken up at the crack of two p.m. Uh, to make myself breakfast. I had two pieces of toast. I got some eggs here and an apple. That's gonna be my breakfast. And uh, I'm currently watching uh, Stephen Stephen George. Stephen Amal's uh, uh, breakfast streams, although this is a VOD of it because there was no way I was getting up early enough to be able to watch that. Uh, <laughs> I do want to catch it live someday, and I do want to get into a consistent habit of being able to like get up early, make myself breakfast, sit down, and you know maybe watch their breakfast streams or something. But that's that's like that's like a final goal here because when I'm not tired, I can't fall asleep. Uh, like, I will just, like, I tried to go to bed at midnight one time, and I just lay in bed awake until, like, 5 in the morning when I finally did fall asleep, so. I have tried, like, medications and whatnot, and, like, sometimes, like, I'll be working and I won't be able to do stuff. It's, uh, it, uh, it, it it's kind of bad. But anyway, on today's agenda, there's a bug flying around. Is that a fly, is that fly inside or outside? I can't tell. That's it. Inside, the fly kind of like buzzing around the window trying to get out. It looks like maybe you could see him. He's where'd he go? There he is. Can I get him? He's oh, he's flying away again. I think you'll be popping the screen for like a frame there, so maybe I'll freeze frame it. Anywho, uh, today's agenda is mostly recording, recording, recording. Uh, a hat in time, I've kind of stopped production until I get around to streaming it, because that is really difficult. I will say, it is a very difficult, uh, the Death Wish part is very difficult, and I kind of go into, like, uh, in the, the episode that released today, I kind of go into my, uh, my, I guess, like, theories or, like, views on, like, game design and whatnot, where it's, like, I don't know, like, in terms of making content for it, you'd really have to, like, go at it and, like, really bash your head into the wall with, with Death Wish, especially if it's, like... In, especially in my case, where I haven't picked up the game in, like, months. Uh, so I'd want to... I want to beat the, the mode. I want to, like, complete all the objectives on it, but it's super difficult, and I just don't have the time to do it. And I'd rather not... Uh, I'd rather not have, like, 50 episodes of me failing the same challenges over and over and over again... Um, so I, I'm sort of, I sort of stopped production on, on a, a hat in time at that point. I'm going to move on to a different Let's Play. I'm going to stream Death Wish mode, and then whenever I unlock the, uh, time riffs, um, I'll record those and have those on the YouTube channel as part of, uh, as part of it. So there's that. As part, like, the time riffs will be part of the Let's Play. They'll be recorded separately from the streams. And the stream VODs, of course, will be on my alternate YouTube channel, uh, Tom Fox Live. So, uh, yeah, you can look forward to those. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I posted about that on Twitter, and um, Nick, or, uh, or Diction, responded with, uh, you're like the anti dark side Phil. <laughs> so, I, I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, I mean, I should take that as a compliment, because Darkside Phil is known for, like, bashing his head against the wall on easy challenges. So, you know. Uh, but in terms of the new Let's Play I want to start, it'll probably be out by the time this goes up. So, uh, I, uh, we're probably in the middle of, well, we might not be because I'm still sort of on the edge. I want to do Star Fox Zero as a Let's Play. I want to show people that even though the game uses a different control scheme to what they're used to, that it doesn't make it a bad game. Because Star Fox Zero is, is my second favorite Star Fox game just under Star Fox 64. It looks beautiful. The motion controls are, like, tight. Like... You don't need, like, the, one of the biggest things, and I'll explain this in the Let's Play as well, but one of the biggest things that people say about Star Fox Zero in terms of it being a bad game 
is the fact that um, you have to hold the gamepad up in order to like do that and your arms get tired. Not the case at all. You can hold it in your lap and just like tilt it around a little bit to aim. And it's like, and the aiming isn't even that bad. It's, it's very like tight and small controls. You're not like doing these big broad motions. There's, there's a lot to unpack with Star Fox Zero. And I, I will admit that there are a couple of things that they could have done better on it. For one, you know, I, I'll also say as well, not make the motion controls required. Um, that would have been, that would have been a good start, but the, they are required and they're not as bad as people say they are. And like, if people just like gave it a shot, learn the controls, they'd be all right. And it's like, if you never, if you went into a game and never like tried to learn new, that, that's one of the things that, that people argued as well, where it's like, I shouldn't have to learn new controls. It's like, you're all, every time you play a new game, you have to learn new controls. Even if it's like, even if it's like a sequel to like a, another game, there's always going to be something new in there that you have to learn. So, you know, you're gonna be you're gonna be learning that, and I'm I'm very I'm very vocal about this because Star Fox Zero is one of my favorite Wii U games, and I don't think people gave it the, a fair chance, especially certain review sites. Um, so yeah, uh, but that might not even be the actual let's play that I'm doing next. So we'll have to see on that one. It is Thursday, and I am in the process of rendering some videos out. Uh, last night. Afix and I using uh using the uh, the Nintendo's uh, Nintendo Switch's uh, online NES function, uh, we recorded some Super Mario Brothers three. Uh, we I believe in our first session we played up through World four. Yes, we played it through World four uh, because we just got to the the world that's got the ziggurat in it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm rendering that out today. Uh, I went to the gym, did some did some running and some legs, so there these the these old dogs here are gonna be sore in the morning. Uh then I came home and streamed a QA. Uh which basically was just like very mild like questions. Um nothing too like uh, mostly a lot about like personal likes and, and whatnot and like you know predictions for like Smash Brothers and whatnot. So uh that'll be in the VOD channel hopefully by the time this comes out, if you wanna check that out. Uh but yeah. Aside from that, I'm trying. I'm getting ready to do a. Uh, well, I already did it. Uh, well, I've, I've recorded it at least. Um, I want to do a uh, um, preview for uh, bef uh, for Star Fox Zero, where I recorded myself on the green screen here, just doing like mouth movements, like kind of like that, and uh, I want to like sort of dub in that like uh, the like bam, 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 on that and like and edit it so it looks like the. Uh, so it looks like, you know, Star Fox 64s and Zeros, honestly. Uh, so it looks like, you know, that, like, motion of talking there. Uh, so I kind of want to see how that's going to go. That should be a lot of fun. I'm looking at my Steam list right now. I've got Bloodstained Curse of the Moon uh, listed on there. Uh, because I backed that, but I never played it. So at some point, I do want to play that. I'm in the middle of the Messenger. I might dedicate a day of my, uh, my streams to indie games. And so, like, I'll do the Messenger, and then I'll do uh, Bloodstained, and, like, keep going on there with, like, with different indie games. I remember John had a stream. I don't remember if it was a stream or a, um, a video series on his YouTube channel uh, called uh, Sweat Into the Indies, which is, a, which is a really clever title. I like that a lot. Where he, he, I don't remember if he put on a leotard, but he definitely has, like, a headband and sweatbands on his wrists. Uh, so that, that was really clever. Uh, and if I can come up with something half as clever as that for like for an indie indie stream days, then uh, then I would be a, a great man indeed. Uh, but anywho, what else is there? I got my gamepad on the floor. There's a drawer on the floor, like over there. I don't know if I'm aiming the camera correctly. There's the gamepad and like Mario Golf and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, sometime this week I need to get to downtown so that way I can play more Pokemon Go. Also get better vlog footage uh, because I want to get the. First off, the Mewtwo raid. That goes on until uh, late October, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. But the other thing I need to worry about is the regional eggs. The 7km eggs at this point uh, are giving um, Kanto Pokemon from different regions in rare occasions. So basically what I want to do is load up on... Uh, I've already loaded up on incubators, but I just want to go downtown and just walk everywhere. Or like take one of those like Lime scooters everywhere around downtown. Um, and, uh, you know, just putts around with Pokemon Go, and just hatch as many eggs as possible that day, and hopefully I will get... The two I'm missing are Mr. Mime and Kangaskhan, and so barring going to, uh... I almost said Russia. Barring going to, uh, 
Europe and Australia. This is my only chance to be able to get them. So uh, we're going to see how that goes at some point. I, I'm either going to go tomorrow or Saturday, so hopefully one of those works out. What's today, Friday? Yep. It is Friday. Friday. Yeah, and uh, see, Galm and I are, uh, are downtown. They're going to a, to a comic convention for, for the day, or for the evening, I guess. It's like 6 p.m. right now. Yeah, a few hours left. Yeah. Uh, World Comic Con, Austin, Texas. Yeah. At RTX Convention Center. <laughs> I don't no, think it's, it's called it's the RTX it's Convention it's Center. The they didn't claim it yet. They're not, they're not, they're not that popular so quite yet. RTCC. But yeah, um, they're going to that con convention. I'm going to be wandering downtown because I want to play Pokemon Go. And I figured this is the perfect excuse to do it. So we're doing that. But first I need to go get food. Because food is very important. So let the, let the, the day go and the good times roll. It sounds like a song. So I walked over to the Capitol um, here, in, uh, here in Austin. It's right up there. Playing some Pokemon Go. Um, <clears throat> there, was a, there was a Mewtwo raid at one point that I went to. And uh, out of the nine throws I had at it, I missed seven times. And I don't mean that like I hit the thing and you know did the little shakes and then and then popped out. No, I mean I didn't actually hit the Pokemon seven times. So there was that. Still walking around though. I got a bunch of the uh, the eggs for the uh, the egg event. Uh, yeah. So I'm probably gonna walk around a little bit more. It's starting to get a little bit late, getting dark. Uh, so I don't think any more raids are gonna spawn around here. Z and Gollum are back at the convention center for the Comic Con. Uh, and it is, it's not hot, but man, is it humid out here. <laughs> I blame that on like, sort of like the, the, the hurricane that passed through recently. Well, not through Austin, but just around the area. Like that probably blew some moisture into this area. And God, it is hot. Well, it feels hot. It's not actually hot. A lot of birds in the trees right now, probably getting ready to nest. Anywho, I'm gonna walk around for a little bit more, get a, hopefully hatch some of these eggs, and hopefully get that Mr. Mime and Kangas gone, I'm missing. Ended up at Voodoo Donuts, because I can't stop eating when I'm downtown. I got myself, I can't remember what it was called, it's called like a Longhorn, I think it's called like a Longhorn Cream, or it's a uh, Maple and Bavarian Cream. It's pretty darn good. Uh, hatched one egg already for the Pokemon Go event, got a Kangas gone. So with that down, the only non-legendary Pokemon I'm missing from Gen 1 is Mr. Mime. So barring going all the way to Europe for it, uh, I'm going to have to hatch some more of those uh, gift eggs and see if I can't get the, uh, the one that I want. I look like a mess right now because of how humid it is outside. My back is really sweaty. Uh, I think my next plan for now is going to be to head down to uh, the river and try catching a bunch of water Pokemon, because I also need to evolve my uh, Whalemur into Whalord, which costs 400 candies. So I'm gonna do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna continue eating this uh, creamy deliciousness here. And uh, hopefully uh, you, you too are enjoying yourself a nice donut. In the comments, what's your favorite donut? Oh, and just like that, night's over. Come and Z went to the convention. I caught Pokemon. I ended up getting both Kangaskhan and Mr. Mime. That's good. Still upset about the Mewtwo, but we'll have another chance at that later. Uh, Z bought some... Do I have to get it out? No, not now. We, you can get it out when we, when we get back. <laughs> bought some lovely paintings that uh, we'll, uh, that I'll, they'll show off in a second there. I donated them on. <laughs> One of them... I supported that decision. One of them, I think you guys, considering the stream that we did one time, one of them I think you guys will like very much. Uh, but yeah, heading back to the car now, heading home, and uh, then I'm gonna shower because I am a mess. It is Saturday, uh, so, but it's also like 11 p.m., so uh, ugh, probably should have done a little bit more with my day there. But I'm doing a lot with my night because uh, I feel like cleaning. You ever have it where it's like, you know, your parent was like, hey, uh, this house needs to get cleaned up because we're having company over and just like kind of, it's very like high pressure in terms of like getting stuff cleaned. Uh, my mother was like that. Uh, so I think that sort of rubbed off on me a little bit because I just like want to get everything clean right now. And so that is what I'm going to do right now. I went to the gym today and uh, 
I spent a little bit longer there than usual because it was also uh, the Pokemon Go Community Day with Chikorita. Uh, I caught a couple of shiny ones of those and did uh, arms and abs for working out. But like in between it, I would always check to see like if there's anything nearby. I was hoping to get three, so I'd have um, one of each evolutionary stage. But I just have one Chikorita, one Meganium, Bayleaf. Sorry, you got left out of the out of the crowd there. Uh, but there is uh, work to be done in terms of tidiness and cleanliness and all of that jazz so I'm going to uh, get to work and uh, because it's already 11 p.m. probably safe to assume that uh, this is gonna be the last point of the stream I also stream Splatoon 2 they had Splatfest um, the new system they have is interesting so in Splatfest past they would have um, like, a, a system where it's, like, single and teams, and then those would get weighted, those would be, like, their own sort of categories, and they'd get weighted against one another, and then they'd decide who, like, the winning category was for that, for that time around. Um, but starting at this point, they did a thing where it was, um, so solo and teams are mixed now, it doesn't matter, like, if you're playing solo or playing with teams, It'll, it just mixes them up, um, and it also, oh, what was the other thing? They, and they have two categories now. One is pro, which is like the old style. One is a different thing where they add like, where it's rated based on clout, which is more or less based on how much you how much uh, teams cover, which I think is going to give a bit of an advantage to the people who have higher votes. Um, so we'll see, or yeah, the, the, the more popular side, because usually the popular side in Splatfest lose. Uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um... And they also added, like, ones that are worth, like, times 10 the amount of clout and times 100 the amount of clout. So, uh, we'll see how that goes once the Splatfest ends and, uh, the winners come in. Anywho, though, I'm going to, uh, get to work cleaning and my left arm is getting tired from pulling this camera up like this. So, uh, yeah. I will see you all next week. Later!